Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And friends, we have been trying all afternoon to get two very important messages uploaded for you guys. Um, one, I did a very in-depth look of what's happening with uh, Erdogan, uh, examining the Ezekiel 38 war that we uh, so many people are concerned about. And... It is a very powerful message. Also, I had Dr. Stephen Pigeon on. We did have some technical difficulties. Some of the things, as soon as we began to talk about it, uh, seems like ears from the NSA must have been listening. They began to shut down the ability to uh, pick up Steve's images. We ended up uh, losing my own image as well. So we ended up, we did get, a, we did get the audio file though recorded and it's a very, very, uh, interesting message there, speaking about the hooks in the jaw. Yes, Russia included, the United States, uh, Erdogan, Rome, exactly what the agenda is. And friends, let me just share this much with you. We're going to do everything we can to get this up tomorrow for you. It's very late here. Um, but it is obvious and it's interesting because the Lord revealed something to me today and oddly enough, when I had sent a message to Dr. Pigeon about coming on today, I asked him about Gog of Magog. And I had not got the responses of yet, and I was sharing with my wife. I said, I really believe that Rome has pitted the United States and Russia at odds with one another so that they destroy one another in a nuclear war, or at least to the point not necessarily a total annihilation, but they would like to see nationalism destroyed. I knew this. I shared that with you before from the insider that I had uh, that spoke to me about this. This was a second option. If they couldn't use climate uh, change to, to change the world, to bring about a new world order, they would pit the United States and Russia against one another in order to destroy nationalism. And I think that what's happening, friends, is President Trump is falling for the deep state agenda, not really realizing where the problem is at. Dr. Pigeon says in the interview that I did with him that each one, each leader has drawn a red line which effectively is fulfilling the prophecy of Ezekiel 38 when it says they would have hooks in the jaws. And that is plural on both ends. Hooks and jaws are plural. He said Trump has got a hook in his own jaw, being drugged down to the battle here of Ezekiel 38 by saying that if the Syrians use chemical weapons, he will go against them with a full onslaught of firepower. Russia has its own hook in its own jaw, saying that if Damascus is struck, they will retaliate against any of the vessels that are firing these weapons. We also have Erdogan, though, lurking in the background. He will not get directly involved with the confrontation between the United States and, and Russia. But what is he doing? He recently met with the Pope of Rome. And for what? I believe that he is, as he claims to be the caliphate, I believe he is the man that the Pope will use once Russia and the United States have weakened themselves through a major battle then the Turkish president, Erdogan, will help lead not only the, the Arabic nations, which he's called on 57 Arabic nations, to join in a war to take Jerusalem. If you remember when he met with the Pope of Rome, what did the Pope say? That was one thing they saw eye to eye on, and that was Jerusalem, the Pope wanting Jerusalem. And I'm sure there'll be what's left of NATO states will join in with that battle as well. And they will come against Israel like never before. And the odd thing was, was Steve Pigeon, Dr. Pigeon had no idea what I'd shared with my wife earlier today and I'd already even made the video. I come back to my computer and he had said on there almost verbatim what I was saying. He said the United States and Russia will go to war. He said, and they will end up pretty much destroying each other. And he said, and I think then Erdogan with his 57 nations will come against Jerusalem. Now here's what's strange, friends. When I did the video, 
What's really strange, the chief rabbi speaking in Israel, article had just came out, I think it was on the Jerusalem Post, he says that President Putin is not anti-Semitic, he stands with the Jewish people. He said he was the first president to ever come to a synagogue, that is, Russian president. He spoke about Gorbachev and Yeltsin and how they were nice or kind to the Jewish people, but no one like Putin was. So see, this is not about being a Russian propaganda or any of that nature there. We have been trying to warn the world that maybe could have some influence to try to avoid this ultimate battle between Russia and the United States. Because on both sides, two Christian nations, and I know a lot of people say Russia is not a Christian nation. They're Eastern Orthodox or Russian Orthodox. I don't necessarily agree with Russian Orthodox no more than I agree with the papacy of the Roman Church either. The United States, who once stood for the evangelical beliefs, sold out to the Vatican. I've got a message on that as well, friends. I can't wait to share with you exactly what Yeshua himself prophesied that the ministers would sell out to Rome and allow the wolves to enter in. Very troubling indeed, friends. Just wanted to share some of these insights with you there. We will be contacting an internet company. I've got bars spinning here. I've been trying for hours to be able to share these two messages with you. I will get them up tomorrow. I'm not even able to see what's happening on the latest events right now. But we do know that Russia has also claimed to have stopped three gas attacks by the jihadists around Damascus already. And they said they're bent on creating a gas attack to get the United States to strike. Just remember, the Gog of Magog, in my opinion, is the Pope of Rome and Turkey, President Erdogan. They will come against Israel as soon as this battle of Russia and the United States weakens these two superpowers to a point that incapacitates them of being the world leaders that they once were. I'm Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live. Shalom.